call to the member for Hasluck. Yeah. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Industry. How will the National Reconstruction Fund support the growth of industries to help Australia move towards net zero future and to create jobs? And are there any threats to creating these new jobs? Right. I'll give the call to the Minister for Industry and Science. Thanks, Speaker. And thanks to the Labor member for Hasluck. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Labor member for Tangney, that sounds good. Labor, Labor member for Pearce, the, oh, that sounds good. Labor minister, member for the, Swan. The, <laughs> Labor member for Swan. The minister will return to the question. Oh, very, very good. And you know why I mention it? Because, because it represents this. Ten years wasted by those opposite. Ten years where they picked fights. That was the biggest lot of work that they did, was to just pick fights, not get on with the job, not focus on the type of things that the member for Hasluck just raised about new industries, getting new things done, looking at the way in which we can create jobs, particularly in different parts of the country, particularly in our Order. regions as well, and looking at the way to satisfy industry needs for a new generation of energy and to be able to do it in a way that cuts emissions Order. but the, increases the jobs, of the opposition. to be able to do, do that, very important. The National Reconstruction Fund, as much as it's about increasing manufacturing capability, is to be able to satisfy the need to generate new energy, create jobs and to do it with lower emissions in the process. And the type of things, particularly the $3 billion sub-fund, that was factored into our targets for reducing emissions, the $3 billion investment will support us to create the jobs that we need to deliver a clean energy future. Thinking about things like building components for wind turbines, making batteries and solar panels, investing in new types of livestock feed to reduce methane emissions, modernising the production of steel, aluminium, building hydrogen electrolyzers, finding innovative packaging solutions to reduce waste, all very important investments. Jobs, jobs, jobs out of the National Reconstruction Fund. And the research tells us that 75 per cent of new energy uh, jobs could be created in regional Australia by 2035. Huge. The biggest threat we've got, the biggest threat we've got happens in the coalition party room, which I'm genuinely Order. concerned is a mass hypnosis event <laughs> where they bring in the RSL entertainment and the, and the person says, when I click my fingers, You'll forget ten years. Order, order. The minister will. The minister. Oh. Order. RSL. The minister will pause and resume his seat for a moment. Order. Members on my right and left. The member of New England can resume his seat. I'll deal with this matter. To resist the House, it just might, might get you to rephrase that language, Minister. Yeah. Just, just order, order to assist the House and then to continue with your, your answer. Um, so, anyhow, they have the mass hypnosis of him. And uh, they no, click their Minister, fingers, forget 10 minutes. Minister, years. resume your seat. I've asked, asked you to rephrase that and withdraw for what you've said, just to assist the House to keep moving on. Sure. But they have, I withdraw, but they've order. forgotten. They, with, they have forgotten 10 years. Say no Order. to everything. Say no, say no to everything and want to make sure that they just Order. continue to say no, no, members, no, members no. Members on my left, 